Good morning, Your Honor. John Gold, 4375. And Mr. Excuse me. Sir? Mr. Rentis? Mr. Rentis, make sure you go around for probation. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. And comes in, uh, I'm sorry, Counselor, your appearance again for the record, please. John Gold, 4375. All right. Thank you. And, sir, your name for the record, please. Andrew Newman. All right. Thank you. And today's the date scheduled for the adjourned pretrial in this matter. No, that's correct. I've had some opportunities to discuss this matter with Mr. Jewett. I've also received a discovery, and we have reviewed that uh, at this point in time. It's my understanding, Your Honor, that uh, Mr. Jewett will be guilty to the uh, domestic violence charge. Standing is commonly referred to as 769.48. Uh, I explained to Mr. Jewett what 769.4a means, and he does understand that. With that said, Your Honor, we are, I've also gone through in this constitutional race, and at this time we are ready to proceed. Is that correct, Mr. Jewett? Yes, Your Honor. All right, please raise your right hand, sir. I'm just going to spare or for the testimony about to give this matter to be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Yes, Your Honor. All right. And, um, Heard the plea that your attorney placed on the record, correct? And as to the domestic violence charge, how do you plead? Guilty. You've gone over your advice of rights with your attorney, correct? Yes, Your Honor. And you understand all of those rights? Yes, Your Honor. You also understand by entering into plea, you'll be waiving some of those Rights. Yes, ma'am. You also understand the possible penalty as a result of your plea, whether in this court or any other court or administrative agency. Yes, sir. And knowing all that, you are to continue with your plea. Any immigration issues? No, Your Honor. Has anybody promised you anything, threatened you, or forced you in any way to enter into a plea? No, Your Honor. All right, counsel, if you could please argue your point. Thank you. Um, Mr. Jewett, back on uh, <clears throat> March 7th of 2019, 2024, uh, will you rewind that, uh, Mr. Yes. And did it come a point in time when you became involved in an altercation uh, with a Miss? Something like Miss uh, Ms. Uh, Hunter Martin? Yes. And during that, that verbal altercation, did you, while trying to get some of your items, push it? Yes. And that push was... I need you to speak up, sir. Yes. Okay. That push was intentional in trying to move it. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Was that an invite? Is that correct? And that's satisfying. All right. And so you understand that there's a um, recommendation for in your management, correct? Yes, ma'am. And that this court <clears throat> could, um, would adopt, could adopt that recommendation whole in part or in conjunction with other conditions, correct? Yes, ma'am. And knowing all that, you want to continue moving forward. Okay, and counsel, the, it does show recommending your management that says no contact. My notes on here show that there is a request to amend the contact to be you no know, assault of harassing, harassing, threatening type of contact. Is there something that's happened that that's being amended? No, I would like it not amended. He would like it amended, number one, but also I did discuss with uh, the prosecutor as well as the victim's advocate. There has been no assault of, or no contact except for one. I did yes, at and equipment from her mother. He spoke to her mother a couple of days ago, not right after we left here. Uh, he has not, not had any contact with her. Uh, the reason was he got a bill for the at and uh, and he needed to get access, and so he went through the money. Uh, she did not play the phone call. It was nothing abusive. But we are we don't we don't want to have any problems. All right. Uh, if I recall correctly, a recent pregnancy, right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, Miss Martin, um, I'm going to have you unmute. Hi. Can you please state. Hello. Can you please state and spell your first and last names for the record, please? 
Hunter, H-U-N-T-E-R, is my first. Martin, M-A-R-T-I-N, is my last. All right, thank you. And, and um, I just want to state, if I can, for the record, um, that I am not pregnant with Andrew Jewett's baby. I'm actually about 16 weeks, and I found out who the real dad is, and he is involved. Okay. All right. And so would you like to have the no contact, the full no contact provision? Um, not only that, but my mother's asked him multiple times to stop asking her for the AT&T router. And he is pursuantly calling and texting my mother. So, yes, I would like it amended to no contact. OK, so let me ask this. Whose name is the at and the at and bill in? My Just one moment. Ms. Ms. Martin? Yes. Whose name is the AT&T account in? Um, I actually am unaware of any AT&T account. I've moved out of that apartment, and I don't know if we even had AT&T. I don't know who was paying our Wi-Fi or cable at all. Okay. Sir, do you still live in the apartment? No, ma'am. We got evicted. Uh, uh, we got the notice about a week ago. Okay. So where are the items that were in the home? Um, I have not been to the home since uh, our original pre-trial. Uh, should technically still be in the apartment or it's at her apartment or her, her mom's house with all the other. Okay, Ms. Martin, did you remove any of the uh, router or any of the internet, any internet connections, any of the cable stuff? No, there. as far as to my knowledge, there was only one router box and he took everything with him and put it in his car and the officers allowed him to take his car with him. So he has that equipment with him, Your Honor. And I am willing to testify to it and take a lie detector test. He has the equipment with him, Your Honor. Okay, so let me just clarify. You didn't take any um I didn't touch any anything of his and any routers. Or, no routers, please. no cable, let no me, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish without being interrupted, please. You didn't take any information, any data devices other than yeah. your own cell phone your own iPad or uh, computer, anything of that. You didn't take anything related to AT&T, Wyandotte cable, um, anything of the like, any fire sticks, nothing. You didn't take any of that. No, I did not. I have all my own possessions at my house. You say own possessions. Did you do anything to um, obtain any devices that would allow you to watch television or otherwise have internet devices or anything no not at all just as far as i said there's only the one router box that was in the house he took it with him he took all of his appliances all of his routers all of his cable whatever he took with him every single item left in the house was not involved with cable was not involved with the router or anything like that in my possession i've okay. not touched or taken anything at&t wine.cable, cable anything like that at all okay all right, so that I think that's pretty much established. She says she doesn't have it. Sir, don't contact her anymore regarding that. If there is an issue regarding that, you can contact your landlord. Um, since she doesn't live there anymore, I will um, say that you can return to 224 Goodell so you can go retrieve that that um, that man you do your not honor, live in Goodell Street anymore, correct? I don't live there, but I have access to the house until April 22nd, and I am still moving out every day my items to this house. So, no, I still have access to April 22nd. So, if you could allow him access after that, that would be perfect. Well, um, who gave you access to April 22nd? Is that, did you receive a 30-day notice? I received a 30-day notice on March 22nd. Okay. So, I'm going to state this. You have until April 15th, and then that allows him another seven days before um, so he can have access to remove his items. Okay, again, he has all of his items removed from the house already. That's why he did the thing with the police where they came in and let him get them all. He has absolutely everything okay. of his from the house. Okay, ma'am, hold on just one moment. When the court orders a civil assist where somebody can go and retrieve their items, that's their personal items. The police don't stand there and wait for multiple items to be moved out of the home. So if, the, right. and, and there's only limited time that somebody can be there. So, Judge, uh, he was packed up in his car, ready to go me, already. Please stop interrupting me. Ms. Martin, you need to stop interrupting me, please. I'm just having a hard time with my connection, that's all. The two, 
There's, ma'am, there's no need for laughter back there. If you need to laugh, please go to the lobby. The two of you resided in a, in a home together. The two of you have been evicted. The two of you both have an opportunity to remove items from the home. I am not going to say that you have full, that you get to monopolize the entire 30 days, okay? I understand that Mr. Do it was that he went there with police to remove some items. I am pretty positive he did not. How long were you there, sir? 15 minutes? Not even. Okay. Did you remove all of your items in the home in that time frame? No, I had most of the items in the car, but not all of them. Okay. So he gets a week to remove the rest of his items. You have until April 4th. What did I say? 15. April 15th to remove. April 15th to remove your items so that I'm going to note that Mr. Jewett may go to the home as of April 6th, April 16th, so that that gives him time to remove the rest of his items. Judge, if I may, um, I'm concerned about him breaking things in the home, considering there's not going to be a single item left in the home. I'm taking everything that I own. So there's not going to be a single item for him to obtain in the home. So when he goes there and there's absolutely nothing in the home because everything's in his car already and there is no router there because it, he took it with him, I'm concerned he's going to break the windows and destroy the home that I paid the security deposit on. Okay, ma'am, let me just say this. There is a way to, there's a way to document the status of the home when you are completely done moving your items out. He has stated that there are items of his still in the home. So I presume that there would be some still in the home after you're done moving. So There's there are ways though. to document, ma'am, ma'am, there are ways to document the status of the house upon you moving all of your items out by April 15th, okay? Okay, but I know that there's nothing in the home of his. I know that. So he's lying to you in court under oath. Okay, listen, listen, I've already spent way too much time on this issue alone, which I didn't need to do. I'm trying to facilitate between the two of you so there isn't any communication via a third party as to what's going to happen. So that is what I'm doing. Defendant may return to the home as of April 16th. <coughs> what items of yours are there other than the AT&T router you say is there? What's there? Ma'am, I'm not, no, 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 we're not, I'm not facilitating this discussion. I'm not asking for an itemized list of what you have. I'm not asking for an itemized list of what he has. That's it. The two of you are both at the home. You both have an opportunity to remove any items that are still there. So he moved out he has. prior to the eviction. He had already moved out. Excuse me. Again, you're interrupting me. His opportunity is April 16th through April 22nd. All of your items need to be moved out by the 15th. Okay, and then can I just say that he did already move out before the eviction notice, so his stuff was already taken out? Okay, ma'am, I understand that. You've stated that. I'm stating he has an opportunity as of April 16th to go to the okay. home, to remove any other items he may have, to do any cleaning he wants to do, to take any photos he wants to take, whatever it may be. He lived there also, but both of you received the eviction notice, you both have an opportunity to do that, okay? He has, okay. He has seven days, you have the 21 days, okay? So okay. thing is May 2nd at 9.30 a.m. No, the full no contact order is reinstated. Do not contact anybody regarding a router or otherwise, sir. All right? Thank you. All right. Sir, have a seat over in probation. Somebody will be with you shortly, and we'll see you back on May 2nd at 9.30. Okay, okay. ma'am, Ms. Martin, you're more than welcome to attend the sentencing, Okay. And what time is it? And what day? May 2nd at 9 a.m. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, this is the matter of the state of Michigan versus Johnny Mills, 23773. Good morning. It's probably. I'm sorry. Oh, it's probably. Okay. Good morning, Your John Goldblatt, P three zero seven five eight, on behalf of Mr. Mills. All right, and Mr. Mills, your name, please. Okay. 
Johnny moves. All right, and the complaining witness in this matter is in the courtroom, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, all right, so I will give you an opportunity to address the court. And so Mr. Mills pled, uh, he was charged with aggravated assault. He pled guilty to assault and battery and was um, sentenced in this matter on August 17th, 12 months. And so per the new, um, or per, per the uh, amended statutes, Mr. Mills does have the opportunity to request early discharge. And this matter, he's eligible with the hearing. And so that is why Mr. Clark was notified of the hearing date. And so Mr. Mills has filed a request for early discharge. And he stated that he's completed at least one half of his original probation period, completed all probation requirement, requirement required programming, no violations in the last three months. And um, counsel? Your Honor, uh, that is correct. And in fact, it's my understanding there are no violations throughout the entire uh, six, six plus months. Uh, he has informed me that he had has been trying to pay the additional three hundred dollars, but they haven't taken it because we we think uh, he's had no contact. He's completed all of the terms and conditions that set forth by this court. We're asking that he be paid. his termination. I mean, his probation be uh, terminated as as for the Okay, and Mr. Clark, you can step forward, please. Um, you can uh, stand as long as we can pick up on the microphone. You can stand right there. And so, if you can please state and spell your first and last names. First name Vertez, B E R T Z. Last name Clark, C L E R K. Okay, thank you. And um, what would you like the court to know? Um, I basically just came to see what was going to was gonna happen. Um, I feel like um, what he got was just a slap on the wrist. Is that I lost due to the acts, due to what it did to me. I lost time with my mother. She died of cancer. I couldn't go. That's all I want to say. Okay. And sir, what um when you say you lost time? I lost time to spend with her. Due to the hurricane, we had to move out of Louisiana and she couldn't get back in time for the doctor to everything over the back up. She passed away. It was the third, third time with um, breast cancer. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Um, and did you and Mr. Mills work together? Um, actually, we worked at the same place as work together? No, I okay. drove my truck, he drove his truck. Okay. And so when you said that you weren't able to, um, you lost time with your mom, were you not able to travel to Louisiana? No, I, no, I couldn't travel to Louisiana. I had to show the operation and um, I had to have therapy, so I couldn't go. As a result of the assault? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, I, okay. When did you have surgery on your shoulder, sir? I had October. I'm sorry? October. Um, and it's been happening two years ago. Can you just speak up a little bit more, sir, please? Uh, two years ago in October. Okay. All right. And um, you didn't have any out of pocket expenses, correct? Um, the little business I had going, I lost a lot of money. I had to... Okay, but you and I, of, I can understand that, sir. Yeah. But you didn't have any out of pocket paid, expenses. Please, people. please, sir. There's the recording can only pick one of us up at a time. So oh, let me finish. Please let me finish before you start answering the question. <clears throat> I understand you may have a side business that you may not have been able to fully do, but you didn't have any out-of-pocket expenses. No. Okay. All right. And sir, let me just clarify um, a couple of things. 
So as far as the process goes, you, um, Mr. Mills was charged and then um, the prosecuting attorney had um, spoken with the defense attorney and they came up with an amended charge of assault and battery, which was reduced from an aggravated assault. There, um, I believe there were, um, there should have been communication um, by the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office with you, sir, regarding um, you know, a victim advocate or whatnot. And I know that um, the probation department had contacted um, and sent notice to you regarding the sentencing date and such. Um, so you would have a voice in the proceedings. And I do appreciate you appearing today, sir. Um, and I can appreciate that you may feel as though he, uh, Mr. Mills received a slap on the wrist. However, the um, law is clear that Mr. Mills does have the opportunity to um, be discharged from probation after half, completing half of his probation period, um, as long as he has um, completed all of his probation requirements, not violated probation in the last three months. And in fact, he hasn't violated probation at all. Um, and so that is why that mo this motion was brought. There hasn't been any contact with you, Mr. Mills, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Or, or Mr. Clark? No, um, no, we just ran across each other and where we were, where everything's located at. Did the two of you still work in the same location? No, no, I switched my job, so I, I would never see him again. Okay. And just so the court may recall, he was discharged. Uh, because of this, he mean Mr. Mills. Mr. Mills, yes, and so he went and now he has another job. And uh, but he has a all right, Let's see something there. yes. Um, when he was coming, when he came to court, I was sitting out there, um, to come in, and the prosecutor told me I didn't need to be here, so that's why I left. Okay, and sir, and and um. I will say this, that obviously I don't know what happens out there since I'm in yeah. here. Mm -hmm. um, and but the fact that you were not present for something doesn't have any bearing on anything that happened. I just want you to understand yeah, that. I understand. I understand. Um, and so um, I'm not sure why you were told you didn't need to be here. Sometimes, um, I, I don't you know. Had, I, I saw it on video. I'm sorry? I saw it on a uh, video that you had asked if I was here. Oh, okay. Oh, on the live streaming? Yes, oh, okay. All right. And again, sir, that didn't have any bearing one way or the other as yeah. far as I was just wondering if you were present, um, if you wanted to address the court or anything. So um, I understand. I just why I came today. Okay. To... All right. Thank you. And I do appreciate you coming in today. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And counsel? Yes, that the uh, court of the end, uh, discharging him uh, was successful. Okay. And waive the additional course for he doesn't know that we have no Okay. And Mr. Rose, you heard the impact your actions had on Mr. Clark. I'm sorry about him, Mother John. I, I didn't have no intentions to fight with nobody in the first place when that happened. I understand that, sir. And, I, and obviously you're apologetic for his mom, but those are unintended consequences that happen based upon actions, right? I mean, obviously you wouldn't have any way of knowing that, but that ended up being another consequence because he had to have surgery from the assault. And I tend to agree that you, 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 have a, you got a really good deal for the injuries that he had to him, you received a really good deal. Yes, Your Honor. 
All right, pursuant to MCL 769.5, the court's going to um, grant the um, petition for early discharge. Mr. Mills has completed all of his prob is, uh, probation requirements, completed at least half of his original term of probation, has not violated probation in the last three months, has paid his fines in full, fines the costs in full. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. Please Thank stop you. over in probation so that um, they can give you whatever documentation you need. Yes, Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. All right. And this is the matter of the state of Michigan versus Robert Pacheco.